5 News reporter Michael Wilson spoke with firefighters about how common cancer is in the fight against or the, in the firefighting community and how you can pay your respects to Chief Christensen. Hey, Darren, Erica, we want to start with how you can pay your respects. Starting at 930 tomorrow morning, let's take a look at this map. This will be the procession route for Chief Christensen. Now, it'll start here at the fire station on about 5th Street, and then after that, it'll go down to Garrison Avenue, and then they'll stop right here at Evangel Temple. Now, that's near 12th and Dotson. That's where they'll have the funeral. Now, you are encouraged to line the streets all along this area for this route. You can't say enough about Phil Christensen's character. To do so would be a challenge that no one is really up to. It'd be hard to cover such a great person in so few words, but uh, I, I would just say leader. Leader, that's a word you'll hear a lot. Chief Christensen joined the fire department nearly 31 years ago and has been in nearly every position. He was very driven and he was a great firefighter and a great leader, so I mean it was it was natural for him to move up. And in 2016, he became chief. The most decorated uh, Fort Smith firefighter ever. And for the past nine months, in addition to battling flames, <laughs> he's been dealing with his own battle. Battling brain cancer for nine months, and he'd been fighting hard. A hard fought battle that is not uncommon for firefighters, especially this department. This is the second time in the last few years um, uh, Eric Morrison was a Fort Smith firefighter, died of cancer at a really young age. Both Morrison and Christensen are listed as a line of duty death because their cancer was caused by years of battling fires. Unfortunately, it's our most aggressive um, guys that work at the busiest stations. They fight the most fires. They do the most work. And those are the guys that we see disproportionately getting cancers that are related to fire service. Which leads to one question. Why do you all do it? Why did he keep doing it? He told me that he was going to be here until he retires or he dies, and um, I knew he meant it. Helping people. I mean, it's, that's, that's what we do is we help people. I, I love to be able to help people. Um, that's, we're firemen. That's what we do. Now, that last interview, that was actually from 2013, back when his son Josh became a firefighter. Now, the whole family is almost firefighters, from his brother to his nephew. Now, funeral services for Chief Christensen will start at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning at the Evangel Temple in Fort Smith. Michael Wilson, 5 News.